Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. I have Galaxy J5 which was launched back in 2015. My model is a J500G and uh, we know that this model can be updated to Android version 6.0.1 that is Mashmallow. Custom ROMs are available for the Galaxy J500 variants. If anybody who is using this model, if they want, they can update uh, the set J500 from Android version 6.0.1 to Android 10. If you want to use the Android 10 application on your Galaxy J5 2015 model, you can give a try, check the ROM or get a change on your Galaxy Samsung Galaxy J5 2015. Today exactly I will show you how you can update Galaxy J5 2015 from Android version 6.0.12 unofficially Android 10. First of all, make a backup of your internal storage data if you have any data on your internal storage save it to your computer hard drive this procedure will format the internal storage plus if you have a data on your memory card there is no need to make a backup of the memory card second second thing check the battery should be charged minimum around to 50 to 60 percent then go to the settings and if you have signed into your Samsung account, remove that Samsung account because without removing Samsung account, the custom recovery will never get flash. Then go to the account section and uh, sync your Google account, then remove it. Now go to the about device, then to the software info and tap the build number for seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven developer mode has been turned on go back go back and you're gonna see developer options tap on it in case if the developer option is turned off then turn it on tap ok and if OEM unlock is turned off then turn it on because we need to turn on this OEM unlock for flashing custom recovery if this option is certain of the custom recovery will never get flashed. You can switch off the set for the time being. This is my folder where I have saved all the files. Links are provided in my video description. Just click on it and make a new folder. Save all the files in that new folder. First of all, download the Samsung USB driver. Then double click on it and install it on your Windows. Without this driver, you cannot or we cannot connect the mobile phone with Windows because we will get an error that drivers has been not found. Whenever we connect any Samsung phone with uh, Windows, the driver will get installed automatically and we will never get any issue. Second thing is the custom ROM. This is the line age 17.21 and uh, you can click on it the link is provided in my video description download the custom rom for the galaxy g5 variant let me show you this custom rom will work on j500f j500g m y j5 lte is the code for this variant now if you have another j5 family variant like j5008 or J500FN or H. Link also provided uh, of all the models of all the variants in my video description. Just check your code name, your model number and download the custom ROM according to your model number. Well, this is the Google application that we have to flash after flashing the custom ROM. And how to download this Google application? Let me show you. This is the official Google application website. When you open this website, select the platform ARN. Then Android version must be select 10, right? And then the variant, you have to go down and select the PICO. After all the selection done, then click on the red circle. The file will start downloading. This is the custom recovery officially uh, custom recovery file for the J500 and uh, let me inform you again that this custom recovery will also work on J500F, 
J500GMY because this custom recovery if you can see J5LTE J5LTE variant this custom recovery will flash on these variant just download the accurate file according to your model do not try to flash J500FG custom recovery on the J5008 because this that flashing will be never done you will get error every time whenever you flash wrong file on the wrong model now download the odin 3.10.7 and uh, then extract the odin 3.10.7 well i assume that you have downloaded all the files that i just mentioned then open the extracted odin 3.10.7 folder and double click on the odin 3.10.7 the odin will open now in Odin, click AP, then go to your downloaded folder and select the custom recovery that is TWRP. Select from here, then to click open. The Odin will get ready, will make the file ready. Moving towards my mobile phone. Mobile phone must be power off. We have to boot the Galaxy J5 into Odin mode. For that, press and hold the volume down key first, then home key and then power key keep it pressed the warning screen will appear then release all the keys uh, press the volume up key for once to continue this is the odin official screen for of the galaxy j 500 g connect the cable with mobile phone and also the other side of cable must be connected to with uh, computer as soon you connect the cable with mobile phone the odin will show the mobile phone is properly connected. This is the sign and Odin is showing that the 008 added. Now go to the option and uncheck the auto reboot. Okay, you must uncheck the auto reboot. Then come back to log and click start. The flashing will start and will be finished, will end it soon. Here it is succeeded one fail zero pass message Odin work done thank you Odin now disconnect the cable from the mobile phone right uncover the back cover of uh, Galaxy J5 now remove the battery for once the set will power off then reinsert the battery again now we have to boot uh, this mobile phone into custom recovery mode for that first volume up key then home key and then power key keep it pressed until you see the j5 logo on your mobile phone and you see yellow line here then release all the keys you're gonna see the set warranty bit recovery top side and here we have the custom recovery screen now connect the cable with mobile phone and as soon you connect the cable you're going to see the storage is on your windows screen here i have the internal storage and my micro sd card now i'm moving to my downloaded folder where i have downloaded all the files going to the main folder and i will copy the custom rom plus the google application file both from here and i will paste that uh, two files in my micro sd card okay both files are copied to my internal storage the computer work finally done coming towards my mobile phone disconnect the cable right now now first of all if you want to make a backup of your uh, stock rom the one you have already on your mobile phone then uh, tap on backup all the selected partition leave it like that just swipe to make a backup if you have a little storage then you can select the storage if you have usb otg connect usb otg you can make a backup in usb otg if you have enough space in micro sd then select the micro sd select it and swipe the backup will start and you can restore your backup 
if anything goes wrong i don't need backup i have the stock rom downloaded already in my computer if i want i can flash the stock rom with odin anytime it is time to flash the custom rom android 10 on the galaxy g5 tap to the wipe option and tap advanced wipe select the first option then second option first is dalvik second is data you can select the internal storage if you want if you have saved all your internal storage data because i have copied the custom rom and google application in my micro sd card i don't have anything imported on my internal storage and i want clean installation so i will select internal storage then cache and system then swipe to start wiping right go back to the main screen tap on install select the storage uh, select micro sd card tap ok i have all the files here first i will select the custom rom that is line h 17.21 and start swipe the flashing will get start so just wait let the flashing complete then we will continue when the custom rom flashing done then uh, tap uh, back and tap the google application remember you have to flash the google application after when custom rom flash select the google application then swipe to start uh, flashing right done after the google application flashing done then just tap on wipe cache dalvik swipe done then simple reboot system then tap do not install the set will get reboot will start booting for the first time the android 10 on your galaxy j5 do not worry about this yellow line it will appear always when you reboot your uh, galaxy j5 or whenever you power on the mobile phone line age operating system android 10 on the galaxy j5 finally we have the android 10 on galaxy j500 going to the settings then to the about phone model is j500g tapping android version 10 and android version is 10 line age operating system 17.21 here we have the base band version kernel version build date is wednesday august 26 2020 so i have checked many things and all the things that we use as a daily purpose working voice call quality is good camera options all there if you want to record uh, videos you want to take a picture the front camera the rear camera both working yeah we have an option like if we see sd card tap on it and you can make your memory card as a phone storage so what will happen the internal storage will be extended your phone storage from like a free space 4.3 gb will be extended according to the micro sd card capacity other than that bluetooth wi-fi mobile phone mobile data perfectly working so you can uh, in flash this uh, android 10 on your galaxy j5 models any variant and you can get a change after flashing this android 10 version on your samsung galaxy j5 battery is good sound all working and uh, location also working i always flash custom rom first on my mobile phone check the things if the rom is good working properly perfectly then i bring that custom rom in a video for you if you want to flash you can go ahead flash and enjoy the custom rom hopefully you will get this custom rom on your galaxy j5 give me a thumbs up to my video thank you so much and goodbye